Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about form 5532E, which is also called Relationship Information and Sponsorship Evaluation Form. So this is a PDF form. This is not a digital form. Where it has three sections, A, B, and C. I'm going to cover A section first in this video. Then we're going to cover B section B and section C in further videos. Without further ado, if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'm Guri. Channel name is UV and Canada. Without wasting your time, let's start the video. All right, so we are on part C: information about relationship to be filled out by the sponsor and the principal applicant. As I already mentioned in the previous video, that this section is very crucial, and both. As as I mentioned in the previous video, this section is very crucial. For both the both the members, sponsor and the principal applicant, both should fill this form. And this is the longest and the lengthiest form. Uh, this particular form, which is part C. So we are going to fill this form. So they are asking about your relationship information in this section. Make sure you do not speak. Make sure you do not. So they are going to ask your relationship information about in this section, and make sure you add everything truthful and correct information about in this section. They are going to verify and cross check with you with the information that you provided this. and the with the document that you attach in your application so you need to add correct information here when was the first time you met in person so if you remember the particular date then you need to add the particular date so i think we met in the month of 2020 october i don't remember the date you can add any random date where did you met so we met in barbecue nation which nation for lunch address of the uh, if you can add the if you can add the address of that particular place you must add so this is an indian restaurant in mohali all right describe the circumstances of your first meeting so you need to add the description why did why did you met and what was the circumstances what were you doing and you need to explain so i am going to add some brief information we met for a lunch in in order to meet in person before marriage at barbecue nation in mohali for for it to see each other so oh, you see there is some you can see there there are some length restrictions so you need to add some brief make a brief line that will explain the purpose of your meeting and the circumstances did anyone introduce you no or yes if someone introduced let's say you are in a arranged marriage and someone has introduced you to your wife then you need to click on yes and click the that particular name the name of that particular person if yes who introduced so my wife's sister has 
had introduced me with her uh, by exchanging her number as well so i'm going to write uh, my wife's sister name or kamal ji course elder sister all right did you have any contact before you met in person yes we had contact if yes give details who initiated the first contact date of the first contact was it by phone letter email or social media so you need to add the entire story how your relationship has started if you if it's a it is a arranged marriage then you need to enter all the details how your relationship has started who who initiated first how did you contact each other either it was phone letters email social media facebook whatsapp whatever it is so you need to enter all the details so in my case our relationship was uh, an arranged marriage so so our marriage was an arranged marriage and one of my, our relatives has introduced kamaljit to my parents and then both the families met together and they agreed everything was fine then they introduced me to my wife so this is uh, very simple simple and straightforward so i need to add the entire story here and thus that uh, person abc has introduced to this person then they so i need to write the entire story here who initiated the first contact so in my in our case kamaljit's elder sister gave kamal this number phone phone to me and then we contacted each other on whatsapp audio and video calls and you can also add more information and you can, and if you know how to make stories so i'm not going to waste your entire time on this section because we have further more sections like this are you living together now yes or no i will choose no because we are not living together now if yes then how long have you been cohabiting cohabiting living together gave the periods uh, uh, have you been living together in the conjugal conjugal relationship started then you need to add the entire story here so if no explain why no because then uh, you need to enter the other part of the story because uh, after marriage we me and kamal left 3 months together then i moved back to canada because of my job i need to resume my job and other responsibilities there here in canada so i am going to write the all the story here before because of my job i need to return to canada we lived to together in india for 3 months you can also add the dates and months when when did you live together and if you think you have and if you see you have more more space to add more the line more lines and you can describe your situation very well you need to write here one tip i will give you that one uh, one tip i will give you before filling this part section c make sure you have had enough breaks and you keep yourself refresh because this form will going to take long time and if you think you cannot fill this form in the one go or in the one sitting just 
just you can write all the details and answers uh, one by one then save save the pdf somewhere else then you can fill the further part of the form this way you can fill each and everything with the correct correct information and with with correct facts facts like places and dates and name of the persons who introduced both of you who were in who were uh, who introduced both of you and the places and the dates that you have to mention in this form so this form is going to take lot of time make sure you have had a good breaks before filling this form so if you are not living together have you visited each other during your relationship during your relationship ps during my relationship i visited india for my marriage then again you need to explain whatever whatever the situation was so because it was an arranged marriage so i need to back and go back to india to get married then i moved back to india in the month of october then i then we got married in the month of december then we go then we lived for part for 3 months for then for the sake of my job and to resume my job and responsibilities back in canada i moved back to back to canada so you need to write the entire story here all right if he has give details below so if you so if he has then give the details below who traveled to visit whom so i am the sponsor i traveled and going to write my name here gurcharan travel to visit kamaljit kaur all right so if i remember i moved to india 21st october first of in the month of october and i moved back to canada in the month of april okay did you stay together in same location yes where did you stay i need to add my indian address here person one if you have been living at another and more than one places you need to add more than one places and if you have visited more than one times then you also need to mention here and suppose your spouse your spouse has visited canada then you can also add here that my spouse has visited me from from starting date to end date then the location of the ad location where did you stay what language do you use when communicating with each other language we use most of the time punjabi and english all right how often do you communicate when you are not together and how okay they are going too deep in your into your relationship so you need to add the information that how often you do you communicate so i would write we communicate daily two to three time on audio calls via whatsapp whatsapp and 
by by whatsapp messages whatsapp facebook instagram messages hmm. very often of course you guys of course when you got uh, of course you when you are in a relationship and you are going to be married within a month or two you you have to you then you guys uh, then you guys communicate with each other on whatsapp facebook instagram text messages whatsapp audio or video calls you can also add audio or video calls and this is really important if you are writing here like we had some audio calls and video calls on whatsapp facebook instagram then you need to add screenshot of those calls with your application as well because they are going to verify whether you had your whether you had your calls or not so make sure you write correct information here so that they can verify later do your close friends family and relation and children know about your relationship yes okay uh, because the, this was this is uh, because this is an arranged marriage so everyone in our in our family member know about uh, our relationship so i'm going to write my family members and kamal ji's family members name here my father name will go there sing umrik are they related to principal applicant or sponsor so here are 1 2 3 4 5 there are total five sections in first three sec first two section i'm going to write write two relatives of the sponsor then other three sections we gonna write three relatives of principal applicant okay relationship to sponsor applicant father all right car my mother name and kamal ji's mother name principal applicant mother and and kamal ji's brother elder brother name principal applicant brother his date of birth okay and kamal ji's elder sister okay and if you are married below answer a below if not go to question 9 was your marriage arranged yes if no then click no and go to the question number 9 because it was arranged married then you need to mention if yes then describe how the marriage was arranged by whom when and where so you need to enter the entire marriage story in this section because whatever the ceremonies were there the dates locations family member list relatives of your spouse of your principal applicant who arranged arranged the marriage where the uh, where marriage was took place what are the ceremonies like shagan and what other uh, ceremonies were there so you need to describe the entire marriage story in this 
text area that you see on my screen so I'm just uh, going to write right here for the story of your marriage from the first day to the last wedding day so the first day when you met your spouse the last day which is the wedding day so you need to all the add all the dates location person who were involved your mother father your relatives your princi principal applicants relatives their mother father their siblings your in-law and the address of the marriage palace address of the location where your ring ceremony happened and each and everything you need to add entire story in this section i'm going to leave it empty for the sake of this video and we are going to move question 9 where were there formal ceremony or event or recognize to recognize or celebrate your relationship engagement ceremony traditional customary marriage ceremony commitment ceremony partnership partnership ceremony reception honeymoon etc okay so again this was the brief story of your marriage this will go the entire story of your marriage brief story like we this was an arranged marriage this person has arranged arranged the marriage between two families and both the families meet together they met first time in the month of this on their place then in-laws in-laws relatives visits to their visit visit to the uh, spouse uh, sponsors family and they meet together and everything was fine then both spouse and sponsor both exchange their number then they communicate each other <coughs> then they decided uh, first to first meet alone at uh, at some place at some random place then they decided a particular day for the engagement ceremony then both the families decided a date for the wedding ceremony so you need to add the brief information in the question number eight and the entire story in the question number nine whatever the ceremonies where they took place what was the date and the place of that part of the particular palace or or the banquet hall and the honeymoon details where did you went for your honeymoon <coughs> so all the information should go in the question number nine so you need to click on the yes then you need to enter the entire story we we re entire story in this section so this I am again giving you a tip this form is going to take very long time to write all the details and make sure all the information is correct and truthful so take your time fill out the form one by one save it on your local then fill out uh, the other section then make sure there are no spelling mistakes in your there are no spelling mistakes and fact and details date and places should be mentioned with name of the person who were in, involved in everything so this is very time taking and important section of the form and we need to add the So now we have click on the yes you need to add the entire story in this section in the further section you need to enter the all the ceremonies that took place so I'm going to write the first ceremony which was December not December it was November so I forgot my engagement day it was 27th I think <laughs> I'm not sure 27th of November uh, because I remember my marriage day it was on 5th of December 27th of December 21st 
November 27 okay so description of this uh, ceremony it was arrangement okay, ceremony location and you need to add the address of the address of the place or location proper address number of guest let's say it was 200 who performed the ceremony if applicable parents parents of sponsor and principal applicant we can simply add as parents or you can add mother and father there is very less space so you, you can simply add parents and engagement then there should be a marriage day okay December 5 hmm. December 5 Yeah So Marriage address of the marriage hall guest let's say should be 400 parents then we also had our um, reception we are reception party 12 6th of December Make sure you add the address uh, address of all the locations which are showing in on the Google address. They are going to match or tally the same address on the Google. So make sure you copy the name of the palace and the address from the Google. And let's say people were 400, so many were parent done by parents. You can add, oh, mm, add, you can add whatever the, uh, whatever the ceremonies or event that you had in your marriage. So, did anyone, any of the following people do to any of the events above? So, did any of the following people go to any of the events above? Principal applicants, parents, yes. Principal applicants, child, if I principal applicant child children no we don't have any children principal applicants other family members and relatives yes how can you forget about your relatives in your marriage <laughs> you know particular indian marriage and spouse sponsors parents yes sponsor children we don't have any child sponsors other family members yes all right if any of the people listed above did not participate, explain why. No, we don't have any people who had not participated in our all these ceremonies. So we are going to leave it empty. Are either of you pregnant? Yes or no? No. If yes, then you need to enter the date. Uh, then you need to provide the date. Is there more information you wish to share? To support your relationship 
all right this is the 11th question and you are going to write whatever you think that your relationship is right correct and truthful and you, this is the only section which is going to represent your relationship to an immigration officer so imagine that your file is in is in the above in the front of uh, immigration officer who is not an indian who doesn't know about any indian marriages what what are the ceremonies or even took place in an, in a marriage so you need to write the entire story here explain one by one how it goes who people who are involved what are the dates what are the place your engagement ceremony your marriage ceremony your uh, reception ceremony your honeymoon how did you book your ticket how many days you spent there what activities do you, you did on your honeymoon what what is the hotel name and you can also write that write that we have attached the all the information of hotel bookings and activities we performed there you can also add the add your honeymoon photos as well so you need to write the entire story So you need to write the entire story here in this section. This is a very long text area box. So you need to explain each and everything. Make sure you need to. And this is this is the this is this is your chance to make your immigration officer confident about your relationship. So this is all your skill. You need to. be factful be add the date place play, people you need to add a date place people even ceremonies that are involved in the entire process from the first day when you meet when you met your spouse and the last day of your wedding or your honeymoon and your return back to india so you need to write each and everything with the facts and figures in this section so this is going to be a very long form and long video so drink water have a deep breath and write and you can also take take, take your take and you can also take help of your spouse make sure she will also help you to suggest suggest date places and people who were involved in your entire journey and you also need to grammar check this section as well <coughs> sorry then here this is the declaration of sponsor i declare that information i have given is truthful complete and correct so sponsor i am the sponsor i am going to sign here declaration of applicant principal applicant my wife is a principal applicant she will going to sign here and we need to add today's date here all right then interpreter declaration this section must be fully completed if an interpreter is assisted so we are not not taking any help from an interpreter so we will leave this section empty and this is the end of the form okay this is the longest video in the entire playlist of the spousal sponsorship application so we have covered section a section b in previous two videos this was section c and if you and if you think you have some doubt or some questions do comment down down below in the in this video i will try to reply all your answers and i hope you like the video and this is the longest form and take your time make sure there are no mistakes in grammar and be factful at the places name location mem people who were in involved in the entire journey and it should be truthful and correct because immigration officer will going to tally the information that you are going to write here and the documents that you will attach in your spousal sponsorship application package 
in the further coming videos i'm going to allow, allow i'm going to describe the entire documents that we have that we had attached in our application package for the support of the channel please hit the subscribe button